The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. <laughs> Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two oh. excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. And if you uh, put your wiener next to his mouth, you're probably going to get sucked. Yeah. Please welcome back Mr. JP. Wait, what happened to the... Yeah, there we go. That's way more fun. So fucking great. I was in a good mood today, but you're in a good mood, and that pisses me off. Oh, buddy. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, he is the very funny comedian who's uh, actually a traveling comedian and uh, kind of actually, well, I, I guess JP is too. But anyways, please welcome back the very well, funny Mr. Steve Peters. Yeah. Apparently he doesn't travel enough. No, I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> I didn't go to Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, shit. But you got a good reason for it. I did. Yeah, because it's Wisconsin. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> I like my dad's from Wausau, so I was kind of excited okay. well, to go. But anyway. we'll get we'll get to that in a minute. But anyways, guys, if this is the very quit sp- trying to what? rush us along, man. I want to get to it, baby. I we, know you do. We got got to push. We've got a spicy potato here today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but anyways, if this is the very you first time, <laughs> it's your fault. Oh, it's your, your miniature fault. Rush Limbaugh is on fire ah! over there. Anyways, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast, believe it or not, uh, where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Just turn it off and tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see this. This is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend people with thin skin. JP. Uh, so if you're one of those people, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Because it's going to be a spicy one today, That's boys. because I'm old. It gets thinner as you get older. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> that, that does make like, sense. You bump into the cabinet when you're 80 and you just start, start bleeding. bleeding. Yeah. yeah. Oh, anyways. I'm not quite there. But. We've got an excellent show for you guys I'll today. I'll never make it. <laughs> We've got hot topics. Uh, we've got never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions in Pergunta's a draft. And as always, we like to wrap things up with a shitty situation. But we're going to kick this off with our week, week recap. What's happened to mm-hmm. us over the last week uh, or couple for Steve. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we are going to start with Mr. JP, as we always do. Uh, I'm sorry. Do we need to? Yeah, we can do this. Because we're all on pens and needles here. And that's pretty much all I did. That's all you did? <laughs> <laughs> you no, just listened I, to this I, song. Uh, yeah, I went bowling and smoked pot and played video games, okay. played cards. All right. That's fine. Uh, that's it, man. I really didn't do anything. I'm, I know you're shocked. I'm, I'm not shocked. Um, I'm but, always gone. Like, I'm not. It's not like I'm just sitting at home. I'm doing shit. It's and that's just, what shocks me. Just boring shit. Yeah, that's, I that's, guess. that's what shocks For, me. I mean. You wonder why you don't have a boyfriend, dog. I don't wonder. I know why. I know. Uh, there's a question coming up, and we'll, we'll go through all that. Okay? Actually, uh, that's why I started doing this. Every once in a while, I know that JP's not going to have shit for his uh, week, week recap, and so I always look for a question from a, a listener who's really interested about JP's very weird life. Yes. And so this week, we have a question from Ryan Howe, specifically just for JP. Hmm. Okay. Yay. <laughs> he, he goes... <laughs> Sounds like a good one. (laughs) It it is. Uh, He goes, I got a question for JP. How do gay people decide who's on top and who's on bottom? I've heard people only prefer one or the other, but I've also heard the opposite. I figured the best DEI hire could answer that question. Sincerely, the OG fucking (laughs) cripple. Oh, this is the guy that you said (laughs) was in a wheelchair, but he isn't? No, this is the Oh, this is the cripple. This is the cripple. Well, I was going to offer to show him how we chose, (laughs) but now that I know he's a cripple, (laughs) I don't know. I think he's got to be the bottom. I'm sorry. I, I, do, I mean, because I'm not just going to sit there and do this the whole fucking time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to. God. Yeah. yeah. Well, but it's um, a question for you. How do you decide? Let me ask a correction here. Is this Ryan Howell or Ryan Newell? Uh, <laughs> Ryan Howell. Okay. All right. I believe. I uh, uh, don't know who Ryan Newell is. Do you? 
I do. Oh, oh yeah, I'm friends with him on Facebook. Oh, yeah. okay. uh, and in real life, like he's, he's oh. uh, he got his legs blown off. Oh, oh wow! Yikes! Yeah. No, this yep. well. Well, that was a I don't, weird uh, day at Taco Bell. <laughs> 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 Fucking odd. Yeah, <laughs> don't order the chalupas. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, you don't really. I mean, I guess you just kind of decide by looking at it and thinking, now how bad is that going to hurt? <laughs> um, it really just depends on the situation. I've been in relationships that I've been completely the fucking top, and I've been in them that I'm completely the bottom. But Which most generally, it's so. The, so the the little thing, you're just like, I'll be the bottom. Is that is that the <laughs> well? Yeah. It's like eh, he it's, wanted to be the top. Cute. He wanted to be the oh. top, and I wanted to fuck him. So <laughs> all right, my they, choices. You know right. what I mean? Like you lay it out like that. I'm sorry, I asked. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew I you really want to know. I, I knew you didn't, but yeah, that's fine. yeah. It depends. Every situation is different, but there you, are you guys need, that only will do that. Like yeah. that's it. I'm not. I'm not that gay. Yeah, you kind of are. Kind of, sort of, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. both, both, but most generally, I'd say most people are at least have tried both. Most generally? Most generally. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's good. Good to know. You know, I'm very happy that you had to make it already very uncomfortable, uh, Ryan. Appreciate it. And, and sorry you were crippled. I, I think, yeah. I've, I mean, that's really the real tragedy here. <laughs> I've always just been the top. <laughs> yeah. Same, you know. Same here. I've never met a chick that was Dude, like the get first on all fours, you too. bitch. Me you know too. what I mean? Like, I'm, yeah, I always was too. And yeah. then I met this one guy, and he wouldn't, and so I did. I'm telling you, it was awesome. So you're telling you me there's a try chance? It. Yeah, you gotta try. It. You definitely gotta try it. It's definitely something to put on the list. You I'll know, my wife use yeah. her small wiener. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. All right, start it. Awesome. Great advice, Steve. Start small. Start yeah, exactly. Small. There you go. You don't just want to start it's, with a hog. I have a starter wiener, so that's I'm very gentle. <laughs> you can get those kits that you can make it in your own wiener into a dildo. Not even stretching out the sides, man. That. Well, that sounds. So that's not gay sounds, if you're fucking yourself. Sounds like a lot of work, which, <laughs> I, which I can do as long as I have somebody to hold my ankles. <laughs> that's oh so my. Gross. All right. Well, that was. Thanks, Ryan. That was, <laughs> Shit. I, I, I told you guys to turn it off. Did not you didn't want listen to know all of that. If you're still here, this is your fault. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Way to kick off the episode. I told you this is going to be a spicy meatball. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to go with the. Uh, <laughs> What? what? I'm telling you, dude. Spicy he's meatball. on one. I'm This wearing, isn't a spicy to meatball. Yeah, I'm wearing my Kentucky yeah, ballistics no, shirt. Hear, oh, yeah. yeah. My yeah. name's Scott. No, okay. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> how about you, Steve? It's been a couple of weeks. Go ahead and tell your story. Well, stories. you know, I have uh, been doing a lot of construction. I actually, believe it or not, I walked on a sloped roof a few times. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's. I'm impressive. basically the Secret Service Special Forces. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you uh, are. Since that's a no no. Um <laughs> now man, I and Natalie just got bad news today. She has oh, to no. do more chemo and then oh. surgery and then more chemo and possibly radiation. She thought she was kind of basically done with it. Oh. So it was a bit of a bit of a letdown today. It was a it kind of took the sales out of everything because mm-hmm. we were doing good. We were hopeful. We were thinking we were nearing the end, and that's probably not the case. But uh, I don't know, man. I've just been applying for jobs and like getting interviews and stuff like that because I need to get insurance for <laughs> my wife. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, just because, yeah, the insurance we have sucks. Yeah, so, I hear you. Anyway, that's, uh, yeah, that's been about it, man. It's, well, it you, hasn't been very. You were supposed to go do comedy. I was comedy. supposed to go to Janesville, Wisconsin and do comedy for Mr. Michael Baldwin. Mm-hmm. And uh, like the day before or two, I was like, I can't go, man. I'm sorry. And he had some super hot chick open for him. So I think he was like, like kind of happy about it. <laughs> but Brady Jones hit me up on Messenger and he was like, you better be funny. I'm in Janesville. I was like, oh, shit, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like I traveled from Austin to get it. No, I'm kidding. But uh, he, he, I don't know. I think he lives there or something like that. Um, but I felt bad. I really did. I'm yeah. like, Damn it. I'm sorry. He, and then he goes, is Esteban going to be here? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really funny. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, but the whole reason why you didn't go is because of your wife. Yeah, you had you had yeah, some yeah, stuff yeah. with your yeah, wife. Yeah, for sure. So that, for sure. Obviously, that's more important. So. Of course. Yeah. And eventually, you know, we're gonna do a, another because live. She's show, so. a bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <That's why. laughs> Thank God. So's my wife. Well, it's a bottom too. 
Yeah. Um, anyway, that's it. That's all you got. That's all I got, man. I really don't uh, have. Uh, okay. I don't. I don't know. I'm sure the past couple weeks something fun happened. I just don't know what the hell it was. Oh, we went to the damn jam. The uh, damn jam. Yeah, that was. It was all right. I mean, it was a uh, damn shame yeah. is what it was. It was, nah, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it, was it was fun. It was in Park City, Kansas. It couldn't have been that good. No, it was in uh, Goddard. Same um, thing. Same thing. Yeah, same, yeah, exactly. Maybe worse. <laughs> just, I don't yeah, know. Just, uh, anyway, it's an east-west highway and not a north-south. Right. Anyway, um, but no, it, it was we camped. So that was kind of cool. And yeah. Got shit faced. and had Good. Fun. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Did good. you have you gone to go see the new Twisters movie? Haven't want to, but I have not. I yet. was going to go yesterday. Really? Yep. What happened? Made plans, everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and I ended up uh, drinking a little too much and falling, nice work. falling asleep. Nice work. I'm I asking. drank too much and Wasn't did not fall asleep. Week? I was a dick. Hmm? Wasn't it just last week you were like, I'm going to quit drinking again? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I'm, that work out. Uh, Saturday it worked great. Huh? I, I think I'm off the uh, off the sauce for a little while. I gotta <laughs> I gotta get back into fitness and just yeah. running every day. And yikes, man, yeah. dude, alcohol like really fucking derails you quick. Yeah, it does. You know, because it's like oh, I'll just have a cheeseburger. You know, you know? like it's I don't hot. Know. Yeah, pot. Also. I'm not a I'm not a potter. No, so I don't know. I've never been a I've never been a pot man. <laughs> no. I've never I've never done any drugs actually. Like I don't even take I find fucking that Tylenol. Very very hard to believe. Same I know. Here. I uh, I tried. I feel like maybe that's what you're missing. I, it might be. I'm I'm a little high strung sometimes, but I tried smoking pot <laughs> in high school because I wanted to bang this super hot chick in <laughs> high school, and uh, she was a hippie, and so I, I smoked pot like three times, and that ended with me telling my mom to take me to the hospital because I was <laughs> so freaked out. So, And they are not nice to you when you're too high on weed at the right. hospital. Uh, and those nurses are drug addicts, man. They were like, was it, this is, sounds like it was good shit. Where'd you get it from? Yeah. I was like, all right, let's fucking make sure my blood pressure is okay. And then so after that, I've never, I've never touched anything yeah, ever again. So, I, I, yeah. I can't smoke pot because it makes me very, very um, uh, paranoid. Yeah, very paranoid. Extremely, you like bad anxiety. Yeah. You really bad that. anxiety. Like anxiety attacks the whole time. J- JP, I've I've tried to smoke pot. I I have like really bad back problems, and whenever I have a bad like uh, whenever I I probably more like a pinched nerve, but I can't move. Mm-hmm. I I thought okay, I'll try smoking pot and see if it works and and loosens me up. Nope. Yeah, you should have gone with heroin for that. <laughs> heroin will heroin, do the trick. Heroin was the way to go there. Yeah, missed Maybe that a little boat. Fentanyl. Well, shit, am I bad? Uh, okay, fine. Um, I, I had a very, very good week. <laughs> oh, I did. I did oh. uh, watch the opening ceremony we'll of the Olympics that. and then turned it off. We'll, so that we'll was something that. that happened to. We're gonna get to that in a second because oh, we got we got to have JP defend his people. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm uh, pretty sure I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, I uh, I had an excellent weekend. It was probably if you could draw it up, what my perfect weekend would be like minus the golf. I didn't get to go golf. I just realized that you have that. This is how close I pay attention yeah. to the bullshit I, I, that you send me. I like know. I do not look at it at all. I like know. not even kind of. I know. That's just right, how you sorry. know. That's, sorry. That's, that's just how you know the episode is today. Is I send that out as a reminder. That's that's what that's I. That's fine. Yeah. All right. You could just be like, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to bother you. Uh, but no, I had a I had a great weekend. Me and my brother got to go to Rainier. Okay. And shoot that the AR-15. Awesome. Nice. I am so fucking excited. So this is your new yes. new AR-15. And it's a... The what is only. It? It's a PSA. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a PSA. It is a public service announcement, bitches. Yeah. Is that what you say right before you start blasting? Yes. That's yes. like a that's a that's like the worst tagline for an <laughs> action figure ever. <laughs> Dude, public service, public man. service <laughs> announcement. Pachoo, pachoo. <laughs> so, but I also got to shoot all, uh, all of the other guns that we have. Which okay. uh, my brother has a three hundred blackout. That was nice. awesome. That's fun. Uh, That's actually a really nice round. Yeah, I enjoy is. a three hundred blackout. Um, but the other thing is, is I got to shoot my Hellcat as well. Okay. Uh, fun fact: a three inch barrel for a handgun makes it mm. not very accurate. No, yeah, just you throw better it out just there. have somebody standing right in front of you <laughs> and holding still. Yes, and the other gun that we got to fire was my brother's staccato. Oh, dude, dude, your brother's rich. I know. Holy crap. <laughs> like that's that's uh, yeah. I what I, like a like uh, what what caliber uh, nine millimeter. Oh, dude, 
just I'm That's not awesome. even, I'm not it's even like lying. A five thousand dollar gun. Man. Yes, it is, and yeah. I, with a fucking red dot sight on the top of it and everything. Nice. Oh my nice. god! Nice. I got an RSO for my Glock, so a I, little uh, RMR type sight. I put a grouping of mm. six shots. Yeah. About the size of maybe like an orange. That's awesome. On the target. That's badass. There's, I actually have a video of my brother shooting his staccato, and I think it was at like maybe 20 it's yards. So smooth, dude. Oh, dude, it's fucking smooth. So smooth. Oh, the trigger crazy. reset's perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Donut grease, man. Um, yep. But like, seriously, it, it uh, my brother put a grouping about the same time. <laughs> JP has left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Clayton fucking put a grouping again, the size of an orange way off of the target so i couldn't fucking figure nice. out what he unloads uh, the entire magazine it's and a still that's a hard thing that little red dot's a hard thing to get used to because <laughs> you don't know where it. to your sight picture's all fucked yeah. anyway anyway uh, i love it but so yeah the thing is is when you go shooting it, it becomes <laughs> it becomes more and more expensive because then after you go and shoot all of your ammunition you have to buy more you so you can shoot more. the intruders that's right yeah i know <laughs> so, so in you the got, backyard yeah so in the you, backyard so you gotta go next next door and find five five six with that aren't green tips Ooh, yeah thanks. that's all fun yep. uh but yeah and then we got to go and celebrate my brother's wife's birthday at nice. uh, chester's chop house uh that's which awesome. is always a fun time yeah and uh should have gone to michelle's i should have but we didn't it would have been but better yeah. for your brother's wife probably would've yeah been, probably more fun it's so good. Their food is so good there. But I, I'm not. I'm not going to pay sixty five dollars for a steak. I, I refuse. Yeah, it's, I won't do it. I don't. I don't think it's that great. It's but anyway, yeah. It's it's it's, okay. it's a good steak. I, I get it. And but I'm out. So anyways. Huh. But yeah, that is my week. But uh, I I I've got to be honest with you guys. I really don't list or look at my messages very often. It's okay. very rare before I, I actually look at my messages. But, like on messenger messages uh from from listeners oh you know what i, I mean? just never even check them at yeah, all yeah. i don't know why i just never do but i uh um, i do so send me your dick pics boys. <laughs> <laughs> your dick pics, boys. so uh, a couple episodes we started uh, we, we kind of put it out there that uh will gonzalez's gofundme is uh something to help him and his mom with bills who's going through cancer it's really oh, sad wow. it sucks it sucks. And and I, I guess there's been a lot of folks who have actually reached out and donated. I know I did. I know Jeremy did. I donated in your name, JP. It's okay. I donated. Did you really? I did. Oh, man. See, this, that's fucking awesome. I'm so proud of you. But um, I didn't know anything about this, so I have not donated. It's uh, it's pinned on our Facebook. It's okay. pinned. Yeah. So oh, if I you haven't, go like check it out. Um, but I actually got one of the coolest fucking messages from a listener ever. That's right? awesome. It I was, got the same message. It was from uh, Daniel. I believe it's it's either Giberson Jr. or J it's got to be Giberson Jr. Correct. Um, but anyways, he sent a message to us, and he said, Hey, Scotty, huge fan here. I'm reaching out in regards to the gentleman who's doing the GoFundMe. I'm not sure how to get in contact with him. I don't have a lot of money, but every few years I donate my hair to wigs for kids and instead of instead this year i'd like to make a wig for his mom if she would like that oh that's awesome how fucking cool that is, is so that? cool Very i know cool. i know we are all a bunch of fucking gallo humored pieces of shit all the time dark humor <sighs> i mean steve's a pretty good yeah. i like steve a lot <laughs> i wouldn't call steve a piece of shit but but no i mean you're like, a piece of i'm shit. a piece of shit but we're but a bunch of degenerates like steve. well <laughs> We're a bunch of fucking degenerates, but we're a fucking family. It's, and yeah. people, like, you have no idea how much that means to me. I think it's so cool. I hope Will doesn't want, or Will's mom doesn't want your fucking hair, but I, if she does need it, go for it. Because it's very important to me, because my mother actually had fallopian cancer as well. She had all of the rounds of chemo, and she lost all of her hair and had to get a wig. So, Natalie got wigs too. Yeah, and then she it's and then she cool. had it's the like baby a, and named it Scotty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's, that's the side was. effect of the chemo, <laughs> right? Uh, but no, thank you guys so very much. That yeah, is so that fucking cool, really awesome. and that really means a lot to me. So, um, Daniel, I will uh, see if I can connect you with Will. Already if, did. Uh, oh, you already did. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you on this You're one, buddy. You're fucking knocking it That's out of the awesome. park today, nice dude. Nice fucking work, JP. Look at JP. JP! Fucking, yeah. I'll even dance with you for that one. But yeah. So anyways. I feel uh, like that's, I'm at the Last Supper. That's fucking awesome, dude. I'm very proud of you for doing that. <laughs> the Last Supper. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Okay. All anyway, right. Here anyways, we go. anyway. We'll get there in a second. Okay. 
We're gonna Why do there. you always make us wait for the He's always like trying to boss us like, around. Dude. I know it's like it's the most so talked annoying. about thing, and you're like, just wait. Wait, yeah, man. Wait. Why do we gotta wait? Who are you? Just because it's your basement doesn't mean you can boss us around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll go to our own basement. Well, wait, I don't have a basement. <laughs> well, we're going to get to hot topics and uh, get <laughs> right into it. I'm just going to start us off. Uh, Tua Tunga, Gal- uh, Tunga Gal- What the fuck? Tua Tunga Viola mm-hmm. got a new contract. Okay. Um, that's great. The fucking opening ceremony for the fucking Paris Olympics 2024. What? All right. Skip that. Now yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. Um, I loved it. Of course you fucking did. Of course you fucking did. Dude. You're people. I love I love how everybody, like, just normal human beings were, like, outraged. They were like, this is fucking bullshit. You're making fun of The Last Supper. Da, 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 da. Why would you do that Nobody to open the Olympics? Nobody was making fun of it. Parodying it, whatever. And so, and then a few days later, all of a sudden, it's, no, that's bullshit. We were just doing this Greek mythology thing. How the fuck did you not know that? It's like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I know, Just right? shut the fuck up. Uh, hey, you know what? I've been told that, you know, the French are pretty open about their sexuality, right? I don't know. What the, yeah. there was a blue guy named the scrotum or something that was on there. So I don't know. And I did, by the way, I did see the painting depicted from this Greek mythological dinner thing. That looks exactly looks like the last supper. Nothing <laughs> like the last supper. It looks nothing like what they did. What they did matches the, the, last, the last supper, supper. way better. And yeah. in this deal, uh, Judas was the only one with his elbows on the table. Uh-huh. And there was a little kid with the elbows on the table. Like, I don't know, man. There was just, there's some striking resemblances oh yeah so yeah. to to be to to try and shove it down my throat and tell me that these people yep. are so fucking stupid that they had no idea that this looked at anything like <laughs> the last supper and oh my god <laughs> go fuck yourself no one's that dumb <laughs> come on bud oh, i love right, you, jp Steve. yeah yeah okay jp what did you think of the opening ceremony well, here's what i think i think it was i think it was fucking them recreating paintings not just the one but yes it was 100 percent the last supper yeah 100 100 it it's not even they the even said it was yeah hold there was on, one guy had his on. nuts out i'm sure you hold like on, that man. hold yes, on there okay. was. There was yeah. a i did enjoy out. that i yeah. did enjoy that yeah. oh, Jesus. but it's just fucking art it, it is and if you go back and look at there's so many fucking tv shows and movies and ads and shit that have depicted the last supper in really offensive ways but all of a sudden name them this, please now the simpsons <laughs> the simpsons is one of them at the bar yes. when they're lined up at yes. the bar okay what's the other one there's like <laughs> the, you know what hold on <laughs> Come on, buddy. We love you. Oh, man. Dude, if you are that, if you are offended Mm -hmm. by that. Here's the deal. Then you're not a good fucking Christian for one. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't watch it. Well, I'll be honest. Great. But dude, it was just a fucking depiction. It was supposed to be inclusive. I get where they were going. Did they fuck it off? Probably so. <laughs> yeah, they did. But look, here's the thing. I think who my, gives a fuck if you're offended? There are so many countries that are fucking involved. Yeah. That do you think Christianity has a fucking is a speck? Oh no, it's not. I get it. It's not. And even the that. people that are offended are the same people that are going to fucking vote for a pussy grabbing president <laughs> who is the most immoral son of a bitch I've ever fucking met. I disagree. He's fucking immoral, whether you I like disagree. it or not. He is. He's not a moral fucking Christian person. Dude. Um, but they're running right. the fucking. Yeah, dude, don't get me started, man. This is gonna be I don't so care much either way. I don't like any of it. I, my whole deal but was... If you were that fucking offended, fucking shut it off. I don't understand shut the fuck up. why you wouldn't yeah. make it about the games, though. Like, that's, why does it have to be some kind of weird off-the-wall shit that's not even about the Olympic Games? I and just, my favorite part was the chick from uh, Plus Size Park Hoppers or whatever <laughs> that was doing the little heart sign in the middle yeah. of, like, ooh, yikes. I was, uh, <laughs> I was a big bro. <laughs> sure so I just, uh, yeah, oh, I don't, boy. I don't know. It was, I guess there was drag queens. I don't oh, know. everywhere. They were everywhere. I, I, forbid I still, I still, I still haven't a drag seen drag queen it. anywhere. It's well, not that oh, there was yeah. a drag queen no, there. Yes, Why I'm did sure. they leave the library reading to children to go do this? <laughs> yeah, That's right. my problem is they well, had kids. They you got to fucking, fucking choose motherfuckers. <laughs> Either you don't want us reading to your kids or you don't want us on the Olympics. We got to be. You're not a drag queen. 
Not, he, not yet. <laughs> I'm thinking about picking it up. <laughs> JP's going to be doing his entire hour uh, special in drag. <laughs> Love it. That's going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, 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 know. I, I know there's actually, a lot of angry people. For yeah. sure. I'm not. I'm you not Americans. I'm not angry about it. I just think I'm like really. I mean, it's kind I, of disappointing. I, it was just kind yeah. of like. Dude, that sucks because the Olympics is supposed to be and the, something that everybody watches. It's like and a the opening ceremony is only the, the best. entire world. It's yeah. Do you remember what happened? What they did with in China? They had fucking like yeah. They loaned us a bunch thousands, of money until they fucking lorded over fucking us. Kids drumming on drums and shit. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, those well, kids have been being trained to do that <laughs> yeah, since they birthed like, them. Get back in there and finish yeah. my fucking Nike. That's yeah. right. Dude. All right. Well, I just I don't know, man. It was uh, I, that was wild. That so was really wild. it was really wild. But once you got past that, first of all, there was a really especially if you're a Christian oh. like myself. Did you see the horse? Did you see the fucking horse? No. Yeah, there is a a uh, um, like a mechanical horse. Oh with yeah, a the, white the knight horse on it. of the rapture or whatever. Uh, yeah, the white horse. Yeah, the white horse. Um, if you're gonna ride. Yeah, Revelation six eight, and I looked and behold a pale horse, uh, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. That That's, sounds very depressing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that person fucked. that was riding the horse was Taylor Swift. I don't think anybody was on <laughs> no, the horse, was though, on right? It, it, was, was, it was just a mechanical it was, I think that well, there the, the was one horse that there was somebody on oh, yeah. that I saw. No hobby horse just, it up? No, no. No. It was a real fucking horse. The only Olympics I like <laughs> yeah. are the Winter Olympics anyway. I'm I, not a I, fan of the Summer Olympics. Dude, I'll never, I won't watch any of it anyway. I am a giant. I never like, do. I like them both. <laughs> I just like hockey. I'm and pretty I like, sure God's going to destroy Paris. <laughs> uh, probably. <laughs> I mean, most likely, yeah. I just, I like hockey and I like those hot chicks that do the curling thing. Oh, That's, yeah. Dude, they're, yeah. they're so hot. The curling, wins curling team? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, so, yeah, obviously I did, I did watch the ceremony because I really dig the Olympics, but my favorite part was after all of the gay stuff, ha- like stuff happened, they started bringing all these famous French people mm-hmm. on, and like uh, they're all normally like bands. And then one was a rapper. Did you see the rapper? The French I haven't rapper? seen any of this. Okay, like I literally have not seen it. So, any of so it's a French rapper, which is already ridiculous as it is yeah. to me. It's like, oh, he's more of him. Yeah, I don't know how you spit so, shade yeah. when you're going like vive vong vong. Exactly, like, exactly. Give like, me a cross <laughs> You look like, yeah, like such a tool right now. Yeah. Uh, but the best part was was he looked like... I would like, kill for a croissant right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So the best part was my wife got me. She got me. We're watching the, the opening ceremonies, and this fucking French rapper comes out, and he looks like Pitbull. You know yeah. Pitbull? Oh, yeah. yeah. He looks Worldwide. like Pitbull. And I go, holy shit, he looks like Pitbull. Without a fucking... Her heart skipping a beat, my wife goes, yeah, his name is French Bulldog. And I go, really? And she's like, <laughs> she's like, no, I fucking made that up. I'm like, that's fucking great. That's awesome. That's, oh, awesome. that's like, awesome. I looked at her and I said, this is the coolest thing you've said all day. It like, is. Honey, don't you ever change. That was fucking awesome. So I yeah, love that. It made that me great. laugh. I was so happy and proud of her. But anyway. Uh, but the other thing I, I watched, and we'll move on, uh, especially that we're talking about, you know, some Donald Trump stuff. Yeah. Um, I watched the entire 18 holes with him and Bryson DeChambeau. Did you see that shit? Did no. not. So Did not even know that occurred. Bryson. Is this on Live Golf? No. Uh, oh, no, it was, Fox on, News. it was on YouTube. <laughs> it's on Fox News. And it was before he got- the a, Fox News open, and it was just <laughs> Donald Trump yeah. and Bryson DeChambeau. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, awesome. was, it was right before- like, It was playing before Tiger and Charlie Woods. <laughs> yeah. He, it was before he got shot at. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, what they do is they they uh, go up to the red tees and they scramble and they try to break fifty and no bullshit they uh, scored a fifty. Is this fucking impressive? Is this after Biden <laughs> dropped out? You know? Said, said <laughs> I'll play you in golf as long as you carry your own bag. <laughs> yeah, you won't do that. And I was like, what the fuck is this? That was brother, so strange. Brother, he can barely walk. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's bad. He is a happy son of a bitch, though. <laughs> yeah, when he get him ice cream. He just looks like a little kid. Yeah, I love he's, yeah. it. He's getting yeah, ice he's cream. Like, somebody's you, just going to let is, me be old. He is one happy son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Do you know why that. old people like Biden love ice cream? Do why? you know why? Why? Because um, back then, whenever the prohibition happened, they uh, all of the bars actually got turned into ice cream parlors. No bullshit. I don't know, man. It's true. I don't know. It's true. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No bullshit. They tried. Are you sure? Yes. Right. All right. So that's how a soda fountain or soda fountain happened or yeah. whatever. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. All right. That's exactly right. Uh, 
Anyways, so sure. this is And then they started trivia. putting the cocaine in the Coca-Cola. <laughs> no, they did that first. Uh, but anyways, uh, we, we kind of opened up the rest of this particular uh, part of Hot Topics for Mr. Steve Peters. Oh, shit. Sure. Well, I, uh, I mean, I think we can all agree, you know. Nope, JP doesn't. I think we can all agree. Kim Cheadle, 2024. Uh, she, she, How in the <laughs> fuck did she not resign immediately? I love the fucking, just the balls on this bitch. She was like, oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. No, I'm not leaving. And I wonder who finally went to her and was like, Kim, bro. <laughs> and you can see it in her face. Like, she's kind of a raging alcoholic, too, and just smokes cigarette after cigarette after cigarette. And they were finally like, you, you got to go. Like, you can't. We need a head to roll, and it has to be yours. You're going to get a job at Boeing. Relax. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I think, I think that was... Uh, if AOC... <sighs> AOC <laughs> sounded fucking smart in what that, dude. It's over at that point. Like you have to just look at that and go, "Oh shit!" Yeah, I, I am. I am done when the bartender <laughs> makes a great fucking point yes. to the point that even Republicans were like, "Where did that chick come from?" <laughs> exactly. She's kind of hot. Yeah, it was, uh, uh, dude. I I don't get it. And the sloped roof thing was probably the oh. most embarrassing. Oh, it's I don't bullshit. Know. Everybody's like, well, it's a, it's a fucking conspiracy. It's a, I hope it's not. But it is a little strange that they secured a building from the interior of the building. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, like, like, what were they thinking when they were inside? Like, that's a big fucking squirrel walking around up there. You know? I mean, it's a metal building with a metal roof. You're going to hear the guy prancing around up there. Not only that, there's a fucking window out that overlooks where he was fucking laying prone. Yeah. With police officers yep. inside of it well so the sniper team that was adjacent to him yeah. uh was blocked by a tree there was a giant tree in the way so he did use a little bit of cover okay. there um <laughs> but <laughs> anyway i uh i don't know he rode there I, on his bicycle he did i think the with uh a, with a rifle and a did. ladder yeah well he had a collapsible stock so Allegedly they said that that was, was on more i know anyway the ladder was I already think, attached to I the building think that, i guess uh, yeah I think we've got old Kim out of there. I think yeah. that uh, we've got we've got uh, Kamala. Kamala. I don't know if I'm saying her name correctly. I know that's been like a big Kamala? thing. They're like they're like everybody's making fun of her name. No, people just don't know how to say it. Like I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't. I'm not trying to be a dick. But right. yeah. Anyway, Kamala. Uh, Kamala. Whatever it is. Um. I think she will within the next thirty days step up. I think that Biden will not have like a i don't know i think he'll just have to step away and i think that the reason that they're going to do that is so that they can show that she can be presidential that's actually a good hypothesis i think that that's what's going to happen La fuck last time we had him on here he pretty much called the assassination attempt so why I not did. and yeah. uh and so tell also us, steve what's going to happen to biden yeah <laughs> we'd like to, we'd like to know well <laughs> it's gonna be razor blades in his ice cream i don't know <laughs> it's uh uh, he will go I mean, for the ice cream. He's, he's ninety or whatever. Yeah. Like he could fall and break a hip very easily. Like he could, he could you know what I mean? Like there's some mm. things that could happen that would uh. would allow her to be in a very presidential position. Here's the problem. Here's why I think people are voting for Trump because everything was so much cheaper when he was president. Yeah. And what Biden promised us is that we we're going to go back to normal. The adults are going to take back over. Not everybody's going to be pissed off all the time. We're going to go back to normal. And I don't know about you, but these last four years have been anything but fucking normal, <laughs> yeah. guaranteed. And they're so expensive. You can't even go to the grocery store anymore. It, like yeah, that's people bad. vote with their pocketbook. And we have a border that is wide open. Yeah. Like there's, they're not even trying anymore. And God bless the border patrol officers that are down there. And by the way, committing suicide at record fucking rates as well. The border patrol guys. Yeah. I heard about that. I mean, that. it's bad, dude. It's really bad. So, all right, we get a guy that's a dick that looks orange and things get cheaper. I'll take that. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't particularly like Trump. I know that, you know, JP thinks it's his stepdad or whatever, but <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't think that he's a particularly great guy at all. I mean, I think he's kind of a piece of shit. You cheat on your wife yeah. and you, you know, I mean, and he doesn't even acknowledge that. He, he grabs, doesn't even acknowledge like, Hey, I fucked a porn star while I was married. Sorry, babe. Like just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like the yeah. fucking balls of that. dude. Yeah. Like if I cheated on my wife and she found out and I was just like, 
I paid that bitch a lot of money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, rather than, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Can yeah. you ever forget? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, it's yeah, kind yeah. of a shitty person. You uh, know? I think, I think at this but, point. I'm fucking broke, man. I'm so broke. <laughs> yeah. And I just need shit to be cheaper. I really do. I, I hear you, buddy. I, uh, I'll trade you bank accounts right now. <laughs> Mine's $197 overdrawn. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's a lot? Threaten me with a good time. <laughs> shit, I'm in. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have to wait for a check. I think at this point, the cat's out of the bag. I think everybody kind of knows where I lie. I'm a libertarian. Uh, I, I'm just going to yeah. come out and fucking say it. Yeah. I do not like both both candidates. I, I can honestly say, as far as like his vice, uh, J.D. Vance, uh-huh. um, on guns, I, I did I, I watch like. the Hillbilly Elegy movie the uh-huh. other day. That was actually pretty interesting. Okay, here's my only problem with this guy. Uh, while he says... Everything uh, else. <laughs> why he says that, you know, all these good things about guns, let me tell you why I don't like the motherfucker. Um, oh. Because uh, he talks about how his mom got addicted to... Uh, opioids i believe yeah. uh, as when she was a nurse working yeah. at the hospital right yeah. um well then it, it basically then goes from opioids to fentanyl which is what she was extremely yeah. addicted to yep um it he was also like helping with uh purdue and a lot of people that actually make those fucking opioids Oh, yeah. so we have kind yeah. of a Dr. Fauci situation. Sort of. like, and, and so, and now granted, this is what I have, at least the research that I have, is it bullshit? I don't know. I don't trust the media anymore. I can't fucking do it. You it's can't. A, it's fucking That's why Joe one-sided. Rogan has 10 times the listeners exactly. than CNN. I mean, it's fucking true. You can't. They're just, I mean, they just have talking points and yes. they regurgitate everything that they want people to do. Yeah. You can't, there, and, there's nothing true about it. And I here's mean, the thing. On. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really think Trump is cringy. Anytime he speaks, I know like he has these huge fucking like speeches and rallies and so many thousands of people there. And I'm sitting here watching him do a speech and say, everything is the best. I really best do ever. wish he was a better person. Like God, I really dude. do. I mean, I, I, I wish that that yeah. could happen, but. But so now this is the way it's going to play out. We're going to have Donald Trump versus Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. And I mean, as a comedy what show, if Donald I Trump would have been in the Olympics at the last supper table. Would that have been okay? No. If he would have just walked, walked out with out. the crown no. on his head. Jesus. No. Just, yeah. Somebody yeah. would have shot at him. Oh. No. Yeah. That'd been really bad. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I am surprised with all of the, the, I don't know, the coverage and everything else. Same. That it wouldn't surprise me if there was a copycat person that tried that sure. again. That yeah. would not surprise me at all. Same. Um, you know, and the, the thing is, is, man, the guy's a shitty human being. Do I think that he's Hitler? No. Do I think that he's the end of democracy? No. I think you're a fucking moron In if you fact, truly believe that. But here's the problem. Because that's regurgitated over and over and over again people so often, yep, the people really do believe that. Yep. They're like, they're sitting in that chair, they're getting their hair dyed bright blue, mm-hmm. and they're just like, I'm going to fucking, Skittle I'm going to go fucking, hair. I'm going to go fucking kill Hitler today. I'm going to get a couple uh, tattoos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's, you know, that's, I, I think that that's dangerous. I, I think at the end of the day, that does become dangerous. It really does. And the other thing is, is that he's, I mean, he already did four fucking years yeah. and we still have a democracy. And we were fine. Like we were fine. Uh, Actually, things were pretty, pretty yeah, fucking pretty good. good, really. I mean, I enjoyed paying whatever it was, dollar or something for gas or that whatever. That was less than $2. So, you know, I mean. Uh, but, I don't know, man. But, here, is, but here's the other sucks. thing. This is, everybody's so, I think everybody's so fucking militant. You have to be either right or you have to be left or you have to be on yeah. this team or you have to be on that team. Yeah. And it's just not okay it's to not. walk down the middle anymore, which I think is bullshit. Because which is, I, which that, is me. that's dangerous. Like, you have to be which able to Which is me. I'm the, the, I'm the, the fucking guy in the middle. I'm, the, I'm a libertarian, so I'm... You're I'm, the pivot, I'm, man. I'm, I'm, yeah. But the other thing <laughs> is that he's such a threat to democracy, um, they decided to pick their candidate not using democracy in yeah, fact exactly. forcing it down I your know. fucking throat I know. and this is where i you gotta call bullshit Dude. when you see bullshit I, and there's, a lo- there's a lot there's a lot sorry were you that. saying something men's gymnastics is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, fu- what were we talking about uh, <laughs> fucking love gymnastics I mean, you, dog. you saw what happened with bernie sanders though too that's exactly I mean, what that i'm was, talking that about i was stolen from him exactly. so and then the little fucker i like bernie sanders but because and, and here's the deal you, you can hate the guy or whatever but he actually stands for what he believes he's sure. doing and he thinks it's right and that's that's something that's but noble too but that's how you he know got that's on corrupt. tv and was like uh, i think that hillary clinton would make a phenomenal <laughs> like dude stop just like she stop. just called you every fucking name, name in the book yeah i don't know tulsi gabbard absolutely destroyed 
Kamala Harris. I Kamala love Harris. I, I, I love Tulsi Gabbard. I love. Oh, I do too. She came from the left she's, and is now considered to be Republican. She's, she's fucking libertarian. She's pretty. Speaking fucking. of coming from the left, did you just see that guy vault? No, but she's uh, she's to the she's, left. Oh, good for you. <laughs> she's pretty intense. Oh yeah, I could just see that thing wonking around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, all right, I, love, I know what JP I was love looking at. That is uh, wow. That's oh, good for him. Is blessed. All right. uh, but, but the no, other thing, I as mean, a, as a comedy show, that <laughs> as uh oh, we're gonna we're gonna have to watch this just just to humor JP. Oh, that's I guess. Right. Oh, oh God! Holy cow! Oh yeah, he's uh, flip flopping all around. Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah, you're not good. You gonna say the pledge of allegiance or something? <laughs> <laughs> he's standing at attention. Good for him. Uh, but no, uh, for, JP. for us, right, for let's us, hit the showers. For us, for us, actually running like a comedy show <laughs> and have been. The, the main reason I think we've been talking about this is because whoever gets elected uh, when this is all said and done, it's going to be, gonna be a comedy it's show. It's going to be a the fucking comedy thing. show. The whole fucking thing. This is a goddamn carnival game and everybody in the world is watching and making poking fun at us. So that's I what love it is. It. But it's anyways, awesome. uh, that is this week's hot topics. So I uh, hope you we guys done? were Thank fucking God. done. We're done. Finally, oh we get to move on. I feel like I need a break. Pass this. We can do it. I'm serious. We're so far away from a break. No. We are. I know we are. And that's not good. I know. I feel like I need to get high again. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Fucking drug me down. Well, we man. will. We can. We Eventually, it'll happen. All right. All right. But anyways, uh, we're going to get moving on to Never Have I Ever. Um, again, guys, uh, thank you for participating in Monday Fun Day. Every single Friday, I uh, make a post that lets you know who's going to be on the show and let you... Uh, Whoever's you know. making these shorts for the Olympics team... <laughs> I'd like to donate some money that, <laughs> that they keep making the the little shorts. Oh, good for you, buddy. I'm God proud of you. Bless I'm, that I mean, guy. I I I don't want to like get any closer oh. to you. <laughs> JP, that one was taking off his pants. Oh my god! You know what? Yeah. Fuck the opening ceremonies. <laughs> this is the only part of the Olympics <laughs> that's is, worth watching. This is way gayer. Um, <laughs> yeah, you think drag queens are gay? <laughs> Watch men get a load of them shorts. Yeah, buddy. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you guys for participating in Monday Fun Day. Sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, but we are going to move on to Never Have I Ever. And the very first one comes in from Nolo Cinco. Oh, Nolo Cinco. Oh, Nolo Cinco. Oh, it's been a minute. He wants to know, never ha <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Never have I ever rented porn from a hotel room. Oh, what a dirt I'll bag. let you guys answer first because I got a long <laughs> answer. <laughs> Holy shit. So the funny thing is, is that we are all old enough to where that was an actual that fucking thing. That is true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, because yeah. like who does now? No, yeah, because they have it on your phone. Yeah, right? exactly. But yeah. back in the day... You legitimately had to go pay like nineteen dollars yeah. for sorority girls three, and then yeah. talk to the desk clerk about it later. Like Ex exactly, hey, <laughs> uh, right when the anal scene started, it just bleeped out. Can you take that off my bill? Like that was, yeah. I was just about to come, and then I couldn't do it. <laughs> do you have an attorney I can talk to? <laughs> yeah, but it, I mean, it had to be fucking awkward when you go down to pay the bill the next day when you're checking out, and you got this fucking thirty dollars in porn. Uh, Oh, shit. That's bad. Dude, that actually reminds me. I saw a little uh, reel the other day uh -huh. of a husband and wife that walk up to the to check out of their hotel, and uh -huh. they're getting their bill, their final bill. And he's like, uh, and two movies. And so she's like, wait, two movies? We only rented one movie. And the clerk's like, uh, nope, there's two on here. And the husband's like, it's, it's fine, babe. It's fine. It's just one movie. It's no big deal. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. And he's like trying to get pay the bill. And she goes, no, 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 no. We're not going to pay for a movie we didn't rent. <laughs> What movies did we get? And so he says, uh, Harry Potter and whatever the fuck that is. And then Slorty, Slorty Sluts 3. <laughs> from a movie. Yeah. Uh. And then, and so this chick just starts going fucking ballistic. And all of a sudden she's like, my husband is a piece of shit. He rented a children's movie. <laughs> Harry Potter? Isn't that about like wizards and shit? Dude, it was fucking hilarious. That's all right. Great. Anyway, what movie is that from then? I don't know. I don't know, but it's from a movie. It was hilarious, yeah. dude. Because oh, that, that, the twist it's, on that, uh, like, just got it's, me. Uh, fucking, what's his name? I don't know. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, but the yes, Jew. I uh, I never have. I, I ne never have either. I never have. Never have I, either. I, I, that would be so fucking embarrassing. So, anyways, JP, have that would you? Just be weird. Dude. I don't so, know. So, JP has a story. Yeah. For imagine all of you. that. Never have I mm -hmm. rented porn from a hotel room. Okay. But I have made some there. Ah, <laughs> ah, well, that's of course you have. So, JP. I mean, there's does that count? No. I feel like so. it should count. I, uh, uh, I gave somebody else a fucking porno uh, or porn. 
Yeah, me that and my a, wife, we were in like a really nice hotel room with the with the windows open while we were fucking. Oh, well, that's good. Nice. Oh uh, yeah, and then I like He was on the 15th floor. Got you, got finished and got went the up to the window. You know how much smaller things look from far away, yeah, too. Yeah. So somebody was like, "Look at that little midget fucking that chick." <laughs> yeah, so then then after I'm all said and done, my wife goes up to the bathroom and I go and look uh, out said window and like probably 200 yards away, there's just a dude in a window looking directly at me. Nuh-uh. Waved. That's awesome. <laughs> Fucking waved. And I'm like, ah, great. Congratulations, awesome. you. Hope you liked it. Yay. Anyway, okay. uh, next one comes in from Devin McDonald. He wants to know, never have I ever saved somebody somebody's life. Never have I ever saved somebody's life. Mm. We do every episode, ladies and gentlemen. That is true. Every yeah. episode, there is somebody I out would there. I so. Yeah. And we're helping you. I would yeah. think. So I think, yes, I think we definitely think we have. have. I so. think the closest thing to that would be when I was in Iraq and some young soldier needed an IV and nobody could fucking get him an IV because he had been puking for like days and days and days and I got his IV. Mm. I don't know. That counts. Um, now, I've never done like, you know, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like yeah. CPR or whatever. Or, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. No, I've. Does anybody? Uh, like, no. I, I, uh, I've seen people die before. I probably could have helped. I just didn't. So <laughs> one time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But no, I've never. Uh, I don't know. That's kind of cool. Uh, Natalie literally saved people's lives. She saved, I yeah. think, four people's lives so far. Wow. Because they all went and got colonoscopies, and every single one of them had precancerous polyps in their fucking buttholes. Wow. And uh, yeah, four people. She can say that she saved lives. That's crazy. Speaking of things in your butthole. Uh oh. God. My herpes are flaring up that's lately. A, that's a two. <laughs> Stay at JP's. Oh my God, man. Yeah. Yuck. Anyway, gross. No, I'm just kidding. I uh, don't have herpes. Thank God. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Not anymore. Um, no. But uh, I will again in a couple months. But right now, I'm good. <laughs> uh, but yes, I, actually, I have. I take that back. I have. I, I actually oh have uh, given Heimlich maneuver to somebody, and no uh, when they were choking, yeah, and that it was, it was cool. A, it was a child too. It was a, really. Yeah. Well, in that case, I saved my dad's life. Oh, okay. Because he started choking one time, uh -huh. and I didn't give him the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> but you fucked him in the ass? But I did, like, <laughs> wave him out the front door to go over to the neighbor's house. I was like, go get the neighbor. <laughs> you know? oh. And as he jumped off the porch, the it fucking went. dislodged. No shit. That's so awesome. So I think that was me. Yeah, I, good, mean, I love it. Good going. Uh, and last one He's comes. He's dead now. Yeah. Um, the hot from, dogs finally got him. Not from choking. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the Diabetes. Last, Oh, yeah, that'll get you. Uh, last silent one. killer. <laughs> yeah, the silent killer. <laughs> did he Did he had to chop off any of his uh, no. appendages? No. No. Okay. No. Uh, and last one he goes. He did. He didn't have to, though. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He's trans. Uh, what is that? Trans disabled, yes. I think is yeah. what the. Yeah, trans people, actually, dude, people actually do that. That's trans -abled. wild. That's insane. People trans abled. Do that, yeah. Dude. Yeah, they do. They'll like yeah. cut off a healthy foot yeah. or some shit. So weird. There was a yeah. chick, I think. We talked I, about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was a chick yeah. that legitimately went and had a surgery to, wear her, to make her legs no longer work. Yeah. Like, are you fucking serious right now? Holy shit, these, dude. These people are fucking psychos. You know that chick. So <laughs> some, all right. Never yeah. mind. That's, I mean, if she's that bad shit crazy, yes. it's like, whoa. Oh, yeah. God. That's so terrible. Anyways, last one comes in from Daniel Martinez. He wants to know, never have I ever did something I should have been arrested for but wasn't caught. For sure. Absolutely. Wow. Every more fucking than one. Oh, like, yeah. A lot of times. More than, more than a lot when of I times. When I live life like a choir boy at all times, <laughs> I've yeah. never done anything wrong. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I guarantee I you. I think he wants specifics and he can go fuck himself. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Yeah. Like, I mean, I think he's like, I wonder if he's looking for a specific. He is. Like, he's a narc. Like, I think everybody's he's just waiting for us to submit. I think something. everybody's driven after drinking too, especially like before Uber. Oh, yeah. Like, that way, yeah. like, especially before Uber, you know? Or like, I don't know. What else can you get arrested for that you do that's just stupid that's not... Sodomy. You know what I mean? Like, no, okay. Fucking speeding. speeding. Uh, I don't I, think you can get arrested for speed. You uh, can if you go fast if enough. If you go fast really? enough, you sure can. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Well, if they anyway. clocked me when I'm taking my New Mexico trip, oh, yeah, I'd go to jail. Really? I set my cruise at 105, dog. You fuck. That's <laughs> not... Dude, that's rough. That's because there it's a two-lane highway. I don't, know what kind of, I, yet. I don't know what kind of animals are in New Mexico, yeah. but you're going to hit one of those, they're like, like a magical buffalo or something. No, they're like <laughs> these, <laughs> small, there's these small antelope-looking things. And you oh, do, those you, are javelinas, right? They, I don't know what they are. but I they, think they but are. There's, Jackalope. There's shitloads of them, and yeah, you got to be careful, but that's the only I thing like you'll it. see for like an hour is some of those motherfuckers, but other than that can't think of like a crime yeah like, you know what i mean like yeah. i don't know like i've going, never like 
you know, growing up. I'm a fucking nerd. Yeah, fucking, growing, I'm, there's a bunch. Well, I'm a nerd. Steve, Steve grows meth in his bathroom. Yeah, there no, you go. Does. I, gr- I grow <laughs> meth in my bathroom. <laughs> That's it. exactly how meth works. <laughs> yeah. You just and grow you it, you yes. know, you <laughs> plant it and you grow it and yeah. you just need a lot of water and lights. <laughs> And That's, love. And love. You have to talk to it yeah. every day. <laughs> and blue food coloring. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but no, uh, yeah, that's that's what. But anyways, that is never have I ever. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line, which is JP's favorite Yay. part of the episode. JP, and I love this. It's so fun. All right, uh, we're gonna kick this off with Cole. I believe it's Dunkel. I Cole think so too. Dunkel. Uh, he wants to know. How many is too many drinks on the golf course? Oh, so Cole is an amateur golfer <laughs> that's never actually partied on the golf. That, all of them. All of them. There is no <laughs> limit on the golf course until you're rolling more than once. You have to roll the golf cart more than once before you get cut off on the golf course. I think it's until you drive on the native grass. <laughs> yeah. If you're not calling your wife to come pick you up from the golf course, you have yeah. not properly played golf. So if I'm actually playing for like trying to be competitive i don't have a single drop of alcohol i can't i just i lose it after like three and then it's I just know. fun and i don't give a shit anymore i don't even keep score if it's if it's after or if, if, if it's like for like a scramble or something like that then yeah i'll probably have a couple and and let me tell you the the guys that i scramble with we are doing fucking like jumps over sand traps oh yeah oh what? yeah that's 100%. awesome yep. It's not our golf cart. Fuck off. We're going to try to destroy that son of a bitch. But yeah, I, th- I think it's all the beers. That's uh, my Steve's buddy. Right. My buddy rolled the golf cart at uh, Crestview on 13th Street. Uh-huh. Like that, <laughs> that hole right there on 13th Street. And he's like, come on, dude, get up. This was at 9 a.m. Because he brought a fifth of whiskey with him uh-huh. and just started getting shit. It was my buddy's bachelor party. And there was, I don't know, probably 30 of us. Uh, and uh, he's like, come on, man, get up, get up. I'm like, I can't. The fucking pinned under this thing. I'm trying so they to they had think. to pull the golf cart off of me so I could actually. Yeah. I'm trying to think. What's the golf course that's way up northeast? Uh, by uh, Not quite Bel Air. Uh, fuck. Oh, Teradyne. No, not Teradyne. That's Crestview. Uh, not Crestview. Fuck. Um, uh, I'm going to look it up. Oh, Willow Bend. Yeah, Willow Bend. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Yep. So um, I know my golf courses. You so. sure do. Um, so <laughs> I've been to all of them. I was not a part of this. I was not the one who did this, but a guy I know mm-hmm. burned uh, all the native grass. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. So on eight. 18- what the fuck is the deal with you and native grass? <laughs> because you don't know the story. Oh, okay. About said native you grass. You aren't here for that. All uh, right. I had an old guy that basically came out while I was golfing and complained uh, to us and told us to stay off the native grass, and I, I fucking got so pissed off at it. But anyway. Really? Uh, did he yield obscenities with him and then sped away? Yeah, I did. <laughs> he was mad. I was mad. Uh, but no, I, a dude I know actually, uh, so on 18 at Willow Bend, uh, there's a pond that runs completely down, or the, the whole hole all the way down the left side. Yeah, uh, I know where you're talking about. My buddy decided it would be a really good thing to do to try to put a golf cart on the bottom of that fucking pond. Oh, hey. And he did it successfully. Holy so. crap. Oh, yeah. I hope you got the extra insurance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, but anyways, yeah. that's mine. Uh, so now uh, let's go with uh, this goes to Ty Heath. He wants to know uh, Ty Heath, the Heath gang boys. I like how Ty thinks <laughs> he wants to know uh, how ugly is too ugly to set up one of your friends for a blind date. I would say depends on how hot the one I want to date is, because if you got to take one for the team, you got to take one for the I, fucking I th- team. I think this is a question of how good of friends you are. Yeah, uh-huh. like if it's like one of your best friends, that chick is going to be <laughs> oh, like no teeth. Hog. Like, yes. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a wild, yes. wild. It's opposite deal. of what you'd think. Yeah, yes. exactly, right. yeah. exactly. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I 100 yeah. percent agree. I agree. If, if it's, it's somebody I don't know that much, I'm probably going to try I'm, to do I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get a hot of the No, I want I want to get the video from the ring doorbell when this chick walks up to my buddy's door and he's like oh fuck yes. are you kidding me yes, yes. dude yes. that uh did you see the blind the, the blind blind date uh-uh. where the guy shows up to this chick's door yes. and it's a, oh i did yeah. see that and she's blind uh-huh. and he's like what's that and she's like that's my cane <laughs> yeah. and he's like you're blind <laughs> and she's like yeah you didn't know that <laughs> And he's like, no, I didn't fucking know that. So, and she's like, well, I can just go back inside. It's fine. And dude, it was so sweet because yeah. he was funny as fuck about it. Yeah. And then they start to go on the date. And he's like, you want to drive? Yeah. <laughs> so unfortunately, Steve, that's a skit. 
Nah, it's not real. It was very nice. It was very nice though. It was. It made it's my fake, heart warm. It was. But fake. I liked. That. It was fake, but it was very nice. It was not fake. Um, but yes, Shut it, fuck up, Scott. My best friend. I am setting up with an absolute Lizzo. Uh, oh, I am, for I am, sure. I am Lizzoing yeah. that shit up. Yep. Okay. Yep. And I, I'm probably gonna be videoing. I'm, I'm going to be recording before long thing. before long. We're going to have Ozempic places just like methadone clinics, you uh-huh. know, so you can just go outside one of those and find some chick to set your friends up. with. Absolutely. It'll be fine. It'll be great. Yeah. Uh, and last one comes in from Jeremiah Joyner. He wants to know how many breakups until you just quit trying JP with the same chick. Or are you just like, out of my way? I'm trying just, to look at the Ukrainian you gymnastics just, team. Or you just go be a monk? Like I don't oh know. What, what, what the same I'm girl about moving to the well, Ukraine? I, I, just, I wouldn't right now, Bubba. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of going through some shit. Oh, I don't have. They would tell. take you. <laughs> no. They definitely take you. They would. Uh, You'd be getting an AK. Don't go quick. to the don't go to the southeast part of the country. Fully right automatic AK. Yeah. Uh, but no, this Try is actually Mia. this is actually a, a question specifically for you, JP. Pay attention. I specifically want to fuck the Ukrainian boy. <laughs> okay, okay oh that's fine. My. That's Nazar. No, but but it, but anyways, <laughs> it's a it's a question like. specifically for you, JP. Okay, let's hear it. Oh God, not another one. How many Ooh, breakups until you just up. quit trying? Okay, hold so on. I know this. <laughs> actually, this is simple math. Uh huh. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Nazar just messed up. <laughs> Daniel. Oh. Two Daniels. Two right Daniels. Now. Yeah. Okay. The same one. Travis. Kegel. No, <laughs> I would have never. Yeah. I would have never left Travis Kegel. I would have never, yeah, never left Travis. <laughs> James. Oh, shit. Brown. Round up. Six. Six. My answer is six. <laughs> With the six. same person? Uh, no, just no, all different no. people. So oh. how, many, how many breakups do you have to go through Before until you finally you just, I don't want you just give else. up? I think that there's Me. breakups. I've given up, <laughs> and the answer is six. I don't know why we're still talking so about JP it. is now a monk. Yeah, uh, no, I, I think I think it might be with the same person. Oh, you know, oh, but I like see my dad. Saying. My dad gave me advice one time, and he goes, "Look, if if the milk in your fridge is spoiled." It's not going to get better by putting it back in the fridge. <laughs> I was like, that's a good point, that's dude. That's a good point. <laughs> that's a really good point. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But, um, so you I, know, I, I if it's still that, try. If it's that, I, I had a girlfriend in, uh, let's see, I was in college? No, mm-hmm. I was out of college. Uh, but she was this really fucking hot Sri Lankan chick. And we, um, we broke up probably four or five times while we were dating for like a year yeah that's just how it goes you know and then like natalie and i broke up three or four times really in the, yeah in the couple of years when we first started dating she's so like and level-headed I, and and has a very soft temper i don't know how that would <laughs> You almost said that with a straight face. I was like, hold on, idiot. has he not met Natalie? <laughs> <laughs> I've only met her twice. All right. And, and I know that's a goddamn lie. She can be terrifying. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, there was times where I was like, I can't stand this shit anymore. And then I, and then we got married, and then that's oh, been shit. it. So, I don't know. Hey, and you know what? It's worked out so far. It did. It worked. Yeah. It worked very well. And I love Natalie. She's such She's a sweet great. individual. I love her to death. She's six. Awesome. The answer is six. <laughs> six. <laughs> okay. I think six is a pretty good number, even if it's the same person. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. The, that's a, that's actually a good callback. Yeah. You remember six? Yeah. Well, if we're taking the same, I've done it. Well, then I'm at seven. <laughs> yeah. So, because I did. So, so once. Jeremy ate the little nitro. I ate the Pocky chip, and it is six times hotter than the Pocky chip. Mm. So, there you what go. is? This uh, this fucking gummy bear of hell. Oh, Are you, hey, you want to fucking try that, there, Steve? Nope. You should. I it's do a good not. time. There's I, a bunch of. Them I already there. take I've got, plenty, all I've got plenty of them. They're nope. right over there. Nope. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Those things have to be hard as a fucking rock. Oh, dude, they are fuck. They, dude, it's bad. It's They're not old. gummy at yeah, all. It's like that. fucking wax. It's just terrible. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where I draw the line. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Questions and questions in Spanish. That's right. And pregnant questions. <laughs> Got a lot. Something love. burning. No? It smells like somebody just blew out oh, a candle. A candle. Yeah. Oh, it probably it's probably my wife upstairs. Oh, okay. Yeah, she does that stuff a lot. She's like, oh, especially here's our she, relationship. Especially <laughs> after, she, well, especially after she takes poop, oh. you, gotta, uh, you, gotta put, you gotta put a candle out. Yeah. That takes away the smell. That's awesome. Uh, but anyways, uh, questions and preguntas. We're gonna kick this bitch right off. Uh, we're gonna start with Trevor Setzer. 
He wants to know, what is the female version of a tea bag? Lip reading. Mm. Nice. Very well done. <sighs> I like it. I would say meat curtain mopping. <laughs> I love it. That's um, fucking awesome. Hmm. Uh, let's Giving see. them the beef. <laughs> yes. They have the meats. <laughs> they have the meats. That's a fucking Arby's. Arby's. Oh, yeah. Why don't we just call it the French dip? Okay. Fuck there yes. That's, Dude, that's great. I love that. That's fucking Female great. teabagging is the French dip. The I French like dip. It. I like it. As long as they're not making fun of the last supper. <laughs> Well, it's French. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. They're French. Oh, okay. fucking French bulldog. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Uh, the old jowls of pleasure. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the old dick twist. <laughs> <laughs> fucking love it. All right. Uh, the next one comes in from uh, Ron Bingham. Now, here's the deal. I modified your question, Ron, because I wanted you to be on the show. Uh, but I couldn't understand the way your question was worded, so I just changed it. Uh, but you gave me the oh, idea. Oh, so that's what we're doing now. Yeah, that's we're exactly what we're doing. Doing whatever we want. Yeah. All right. Uh, but he that's wants all. to know rejected weed strains. I've never rejected any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not know of which you speak. Uh, uh, I don't. Is there? <laughs> no. You gotta if you gotta come up with a, a, a like. Anything we Poon Tang. If they named one Poon Tang, <laughs> I'd probably smoke it, but I wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah, roast beef lips. Uh, yeah. you know, what like what about what about uh, <laughs> just anxiety? Like just yeah, just one just named like, anxiety. I'll There's take the purple like... Kush and some anxiety yeah. over here. How about uh, you know, like how about some uh, Donald Trump? Call it that. Some Kamala Harris. I don't care what you call it. It's still weed <laughs> the, and I'll the smoke The orange it. sickle or whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's some good shit. I like it. That's, uh, yeah. I love it. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Taylor Moroski. Yay, yeah, Taylor. I saw, I saw one of her TikToks uh, uh, this week and, and uh, yeah, we dropped her a nice JP, message. That's JP's like main homie. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, dude. She's the best. She's the only vagina JP likes. It's true. Nice. It's true. That's true. It's like really it. true. And my wife. Uh, yeah, nice. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah those two. I don't understand her, but I really like your wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And what the fuck she's thinking. Yep. But. Uh, but anyways, Taylor has a good question this week. She wants to know strange things to say during a round of golf. Oh. So that's where I put my ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Has anybody seen the ball washer? And then I just come up. Huh? What? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> With a fucking towel and a yeah. spray bottle. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I uh, I don't know. The cart girl not being attractive. That the would be, dude. That, it's impossible. Yeah. The, that's there is true. not a single golf course I've ever been to that's where true. the cart girl is not fucking well, hot. Yeah, it's because the guy that like is in charge of all the maintenance for the course <laughs> is like, check out this hot piece of ass. I got to sell drinks. That's a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, here comes the cart boy. That's another one oh, that you can't oh. say. You can't. I, I, if you're yeah. playing on my course, yeah, that's <laughs> when J I get rich and have a, yeah. open a golf course that has damn gay cart to the boys. Gays. Oh, I love that's it. Fucking that's funny. All the, the greens are going to be rainbow. That's going to be amazing. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. People gonna are going to be people up. Oh, that was another thing that I forgot to bring up uh -oh. when we were talking oh, about the boy. Trump and well, Bryson oh, DeChambeau. Too late. Oh no, it's dude. I am not even fucking kidding you. Oops. This is another reason why I kind of don't like the guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was driving the golf cart on the fucking green. What? Trump no. was. No way. He was driving the oh. fucking golf cart well, up I to mean, the I fucking guess green. Of course he was. I guess he does sure. everything he sure. wants. Yeah, that's true. There's that's nothing true. he doesn't do that, that he doesn't want. True. I mean, he does what he wants. <sighs> I know. Yeah. It just drives me nuts. Uh, but anyways. He's uh, like, do you know how much I have to pay to get these greens maintained? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> them. Lot. I love it. Anyways, uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know unusual things to hear during sex. Mm. A woman. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying it your, would be really strange your for me. Your uncle. Yeah. I think that would be, <laughs> be like, whoa. Uh, strange, we're going to do less, this again. Less strange for me than a woman. That's true. That but, is true. Yeah, your aunt in your case, I guess. Right. That would be weird. That I, would. You'd be I, like, are you going to, what was it? <laughs> Meat mop me or whatever. Oh, the French dip. <laughs> French, dip me. Yeah, French dip my eyeballs. Uh, Jim Nance mm. announcing yeah, okay. my sexual That would be awesome, dude. 
Yeah. Oh, fine. that would actually. Make I think it would be better with Marv Albert. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want. The, I, I want the guy. What from about, the, No. What about fucking uh, um, Madden? That yeah, would be. Oh, yeah. Now here's Boom. a guy that comes when he goes faster. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that would be a good. John Look, he's putting Mad- his dick in there just like it's a turducken, and then we go over here, and then it's, he's like, "That shit, he's drawing on the whiteboard." Well, yeah. he goes, "It just keeps going in and out like this. It just keeps going in and out." Fuck yeah, I'm gonna go to Outback Steakhouse after this and drink. He a tries Dr. to Pepper. put it in three times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then he finds the lube, and boom! <laughs> <laughs> Tough acting, ten acting. Um, no, actually, uh, and, and we've had this question before, but Derek's, <laughs> Derek had an answer that I, I absolutely agree with. You remember the announcer from the And One mixtape tour? Yeah. No. Hot sizzle, yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'd want him. The professor. the professor. What about the monster truck guy? Like, Sunday, Sunday, yeah. Sunday, yeah. Sunday. Scotty's penis is going to break some vagina. Yeah. That's awesome. That's dude. fucking That's great. great. That's Sprain it at it's, the very most. It's just, it's make-believe. It, yeah, my dream, sure my dream dream though is is to actually have like the full ufc commentators with joe rogan and and whenever i pull down my pants it's like the shock like, oh! <laughs> that's what i want they're like look at how fucking it's small it is, is. <laughs> absolutely i love it totally i true. love it anyways here's a guy that doesn't need protection <laughs> <laughs> oh shit can you believe she's gonna fuck this guy <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Anyway, and the very last question comes in from Matthew Rothermitch. Uh-huh. Uh, he wants to know things you can say at the bowling alley and while having sex. Put all those pins back in. <laughs> <laughs> only you, put you only put your fingers up to the knuckles. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. You only put your fingers up to the first knuckle. Yeah, do you use the thumb hole? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Every chance I get. <laughs> oh, my. Do you use your only two fingers or do you use the thumb, too? Have you ever, like... <laughs> like, I oh, mean, did I you ever... that one in the gutter. <laughs> did you ever try women? Like, did you ever... Yeah, he did. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. He all just right. had a very oh, bad yeah. experience. Hey, on the 18th, you'll hear all about one of them. Yes, oh, you will. Yes, you What's will. going on? Because we're having that deal at, at uh, CSB. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, shit! That's right. I forgot about that. All right, awesome. I'll never. I f- love it. I will never forget the story that JP told about oh. that because he said it on the show. Yeah. But basically, she did not smell the best, if you know what I'm saying. So Dude. you, it must have been bad because now he wants buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Like how gangrenous was that thing? Hey, it was you bad just enough were that like, I, I need assholes now. That's Dude, way better. Smell I, that. I had a Delta 88 mm-hmm. Oldsmobile. Nice. Brome edition. So it was all the tufted fabric. That was, really, you just dude, sell weed I out of that. Power, <laughs> dude, I power washed the inside of the car. It Shut up. Like no not even way. Kidding. Hand to God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you should have burned some wood chips in there or something. So I tried. Wow. So what you're that saying is, is it, it definitely good. did not smell like the hot air coming out of the back of a PlayStation. No. Okay. Ooh. That's good pussy. Did you know that? Ooh. What? How, did you know that like I good mean. pussy smells like the hot air that comes out of the back of a PlayStation? I have to go smell a PlayStation. I'm dead I serious, don't know. Man. I don't know what that smells it, it's like. It's upstairs. We can go do the okay. PS5. We'll have to check you that out. You guys can go smell it later. We can. We can. Cannot wait. But anyways, like an electrical fire? Yeah, it's like a, it's hot <laughs> electronics. That's what it smells like. It's okay. fucking weird. That's... I'm gonna tell you that, and then you're gonna go home, and you're gonna eat out your wife, and you're gonna All be, right. and you're gonna be like, holy shit. It's true. Uh, anyway. Wow. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and pergunches and yep. way too much information that you probably didn't want to know. I love it. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. And uh, Jeremy Joseph won last week's draft, but Jeremy Joseph is not here. That means <laughs> that uh, that JP technically wins on a technicality. <laughs> yeah. okay. At this point in my life, I'll take a win any way I can get it. Jeremy Joseph is the cheat code. Yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's, it's a cheat code. That if Jeremy's on the show, he's going to win the draft. That's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so uh, that was a good draft. This week's draft I actually really fucking like, and I think I'm going to win. 
I got to say, I'm going to doubt let. that. I yes. just doubt that. I but know. that's fine. Yeah. Let's try this out. This week's draft is going to be our favorite on screen deaths. So, TV or movie, your favorite deaths. Okay, here we go. Kay. Here we go. All right. And, Who's uh, ready? Oh, wait. Hold on. I got I to gotta get this uh, all written up here, I guess. My bad. Um, so, that means that JP is going to get the championship picks. Uh, I technically got last, but I get to move up. So, I get the Eiffel Tower picks, as I normally do anyway. Yay. And then Steve gets the first overall pick. Uh, so come on, dog. What is your first it's, pick? And it's just one pick, right? Yeah, That's just it. one pick. Okay. Hans Gruber. Damn it, you motherfucker! <laughs> God! That yep. was the one! Yep. That is the winner oh, right there. Do we even fuck. need to go further? I don't yes. think that we do. All right. Hans Gruber Son of a being d- murdered by Jack McClain. John McClain. John, John McClain, Fuck sorry. Him. Oh, my God. And didn't uh, know the real names. Oh, I know. He do, you don't deserve. It was the Nakatomi Towers. Yeah, it's Take true. It do you know the funny story about that scene? Whenever yeah. he falls out of the building? It was real. No. Oh. So... <laughs> So the the actor who plays Hans Gruber yeah. was actually he did have a safety line right yeah. and he was be, he was being dropped from like a twenty to twenty to twenty five foot like drop oh shit and he was hooked up and safety related yeah. and stuff like that and the stunt coordinators uh, said okay we're gonna drop you on we're gonna go one two three and drop you uh-huh. and he goes okay so he goes up and he gets on there and he tells the guy that's holding the rope and goes drop him on one. <gasps> So he's really. So that was a way he, better. Yes. Okay. Yes, I like that. Yes. That's so, that's awesome, so dude. Fear, I love that. The fear in his face yeah, is real. That's badass. Isn't it though? Sometimes Hollywood knows what it's doing. Yeah. It's All good right. shit. So yeah, Hans Gruber is a fucking excellent pick. <laughs> yes, yeah, man. Of course. Ah, uh, fine. Well, it's dramatic. It is. Um, I am going to go. Man, I've. I really have to go with this because it's one of my favorite movies. Um, but I'm going to go with uh, Captain What's-His-Nuts in Jaws. Mm-hmm. Quinn. Ca- Captain Quinn. Yeah. yeah I'm going to yeah. go with that. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Okay. And then, JP, you get two in a row. All right. My first one, Mufasa. Damn it. I was hoping it would come back, but I knew you I would. I love that movie. I know you like The Lion it's King, so I left it for you. Uh and then my second one is Gus from Breaking Bad. Oh, when I don't he goes that. in and the fucking guy dings the bell and blows him half off, and he walks out of the oh yeah, just as tie, and then you see the other half of him's just gone. You want to talk about a guy dude, that, that can play a good ass, bad guy? That, that guy is ass. a good bad guy. Yeah, so really, yeah. Um, so okay. those are my first two. I understand. That's good. I, I get it. Uh, I am going to go. You know what? I'm going to appeal to the Harry Potter folks. I'm going to go Albus Dumbledore whenever he dies. It sucks. Mm. Yeah. Dumbledore. Gross. I know. I like Harry Potter. Okay. Uh, Steve, you get two in a row. Holy shit. You get two in a row, dude. Okay. So number one is going to be the dude from New Jack City that they drop off the bridge and say, see, you wouldn't want to yeah. be you. That one's awesome. <laughs> Uh, and then the only TV death that I actually rooted for and was pretty happy about is um, when Jack uh, isn't on the door and he sinks to the bottom of the fucking Atlantic. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. I, I, I now I stand corrected. I am not. I am not going to win this fucking draft. I know I'm not. <laughs> to be honest, Scotty, we didn't think you were. I know. I know. I don't know. I don't think we ever bought into it. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I guess I am going to go with one of my favorite movies of all time, and I am going to go also with Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go with Leonardo DiCaprio, and he walks out of the elevator and departed. Okay. Remember that? Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That I yeah, 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 yeah. couldn't right, see yeah. that right. shit coming. No way. Never saw that coming. And it yeah. was just like it happened, and then you're like, what the fuck? And then three other people die. It's great. Okay. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. Uh, the lawyer in Jurassic Park that gets eaten by the two rats <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> That's awesome. That was fucking cool. I love it. I liked it. That's a great pick, yeah. dude. 
<laughs> and, and it's a uh, great thing because all of the fucking walls just fall oh, all the, just, like all yeah. side of him and, and he's just he sitting there taking his shit yeah. he is uh, uh, yeah. and he just gets eaten. that was a good one that and was a good then, one and uh, the other one is Bubba, Bubba. from uh, Forrest Gump Oh yeah! Oh, that is a Bubba good one. Yeah, it's that a good one. A good That's one. a good one. I want to go home, Forrest. Yeah, hell yeah, he did. Okay, he did. I have, uh, I have one that I, I knew you guys weren't gonna pick, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pick this because it was the only time I think I've ever watched an actual character, mm-hmm. and I watched him die, mm-hmm. and I was so fucking happy he died. Oh. He is probably one of the best actors I've ever seen play a bad guy, Uh huh. and it's King Joffrey from Game of Thrones. Never seen it. Never seen it. I know that's why, that's why you, would, you guys don't understand. This was a little fucking shit, and he got uh-huh. poisoned, and it was fucking glorious because he was such a piece of shit. Awesome. So, uh, I well, was very, very happy uh, about that. And I guess uh, he played a bad guy so well mm-hmm. that nobody wants to fucking hire him to do other roles. Really? He's that fucking hated. Damn. Yeah. All right. It's I pretty like crazy. It. But anyways, all right, okay. Steve, you get your last two picks. In a row? In a row. Ooh. Let's see. Oh. I am going to go with pick number one is going to be Adam Sandler's character in Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. That was a good movie, dude. Dude, that was an amazing movie, and you did not see that shit coming from a mile away, dude. Yeah. That yeah. was crazy. Was I was nuts. like, how? Like literally when that happened, I was like, no, no, yeah. no, there's yeah. no way. Like he, Same. No way, you know? Um, and then my last one would be John Coffey. I already took that From one. the Green Mile. Did I take that one? No, oh, you didn't. you motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, right. that was my last pick. <laughs> God damn it. It's, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Good picks. Good I, picks. I, have, I thought so. I have, I have two that I want to pick, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I got to be honest. Mm-hmm. When in Deep Blue Sea, when Samuel L. Jackson gets eaten by a shark and pulled into a tank, you got to have Samuel L. Jackson on your fucking list. That's true. Deep Blue Sea. Do you remember it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson is given this like fucking motivating speech yeah. about the, like these fucking sharks. And all of a sudden, out of the tank in the middle, a fucking shark comes out, grabs Samuel L. Jackson, and takes him down underneath, and, and they eat him. It's fucking great. His last words were like, you motherfucker. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. But yeah, I'll never forget. It still haunts me to this day because I'm so scared of sharks. That's awesome. Anyways, and JP, your last pick. It's kind of two picks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But it's not. <laughs> okay. Romeo and Juliet. Oh, that's good. No, I like it. I know. Mm, that's good. I think it's going to win me the draft. That was a good one. Uh, Maybe. I, I don't know. Hey, gonna, settle down. It's kind of gay. <laughs> it is kind of gay. So for all you gay boys, vote for me. Oh, Jesus. Huh. I'm trying to think. I, I, see, I know there's some honorable mention. Oh, John Travolta in Pulp Fiction, Pulp dude. Fiction. Oh, what the yeah. hell? Yeah. He dies? John Travolta? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I he totally was he was that. taking a taking shit. A shit. Yeah. yeah, and then he comes out and gets smoked. Oh, that's right. I yep. don't remember that. And then when he and the gimp shoot the guy that was like, yeah. dude, that that was fucking yeah, that was whoa, kind of crazy. That was insane. Um, I did. I had another one. I now I can't. It's fucking escaping oh, me. Oh, me. oh, uh, Saving Private Ryan, Tom Hanks. Oh yeah, yeah. That's very. Yeah. That's a good one. Yep. Um, but yeah, there. I mean, there's a whole bunch of good ones. There was. There's but, some good ones. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that is our draft for this week. You can go and vote at Laughing on the Sidelines or Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines. Vote oh, for Steve. Vote. Steve's got a good list. I ain't going to fucking lie. That fucking Hans Gruber pick is fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's of so course amazing. it's going to be the first pick. Suck. Yeah, of course. Fucking suck. I say we throw that one out. Fuck <laughs> 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 yeah. Right. Uh, but you can go and vote also at. Right, uh, I'll take old Yeller instead. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one, too. Uh, you can also go to Twitter or X, which is uh, at LOT Sidelines, and, uh, and vote uh, for the list that you like the most. Whoever wins doesn't get shit, uh, but it's fun to do this every episode. It's very fun. It is fun. Uh, but guys, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Yeah. All right. 
right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Steve fucking Peters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. And JP as well. Thank you for calling copters. <laughs> <laughs> so many people want you dancing to that music as like a gif. Oh, it should be. It should be. Of course I it think should. it really should be. Oh, of course it should. Um, but yes, uh, we do have a, an actual sponsor, which is going to be the comedy show that's coming up that both <laughs> these fine gentlemen are going to be in. Yes, ma'am. It is at Central Standard, Standard, Standard Brewery. Brewery Company. And um, it is going to be hosted by Travis Cagle. Um, it is a it is kind of like a tournament style competition, yeah. like a yeah. bracket style. Yep. yep. Um, it's, term, so, it's comedy to the death. Yep, that's right. Yep. And uh, the brackets came out uh, today. Today. Mm-hmm. today. So today. we and guess what? Derek and J- and and uh, Steve. Yep. Are in the We're same battling. Bracket. It's you two and then some gal that I, I don't know. Shauna Blake. Shauna I've never Blake. met her. I don't um, know who that is. But I told Travis Cagle that if Derek wins, I'm going <laughs> to kill him. I mean, And he even said there needs to be. I, I even told him, I was like, there needs to be a rule. I'm going to be there. And I'm just going to go, you know what? No, 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 Derek, you, you lose. You go sit down now. Thank you. Because I, I can't listen to him talk about that shit for a week after. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I love Facebook. (laughs) It's so fun. You should try Twitter. It's way fun. Oh, no. Twitter makes me feel dirty and sad. (laughs) Like, I feel like a sleazeball every time I'm on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, yes, you can go to, I believe it's Eventbrite uh, is where you get tickets. I think they're $12. Uh, and I I have a strong suspicion that it's probably going to sell out. And the lineup of comedians are fucking uh, very impressive. You've got Steve Peters. You've got JP. He's going to do comedy for the first mm-hmm. time in like ten years. Mm-hmm. So it'll and be bad. <laughs> it's gonna. He's gonna it's eat gonna shit. Be awful. It's, it's gonna, gonna be horrible. So, some, be some, awful. Something tells me that it, they tell him to do five minutes, and he's going to be up there for fifteen. That's just, well, we each need to have fifteen minutes worth of stuff, right? Yeah. Like that's so the, he's just going to blow his load the, the whole fifteen exactly. right then and there. There you go. But good for him. Uh, but yeah, they have. Uh, let's see who else. Derek Aldridge is going to be there, um, and then uh, who else is going to be there? Yep. I don't know. Um, uh, Here. Big, big guy, big black guy. Uh, Felix, Felix Johnson. Felix Johnson's going to be My buddy, there. I love that guy. I like him too. He's a nice guy. He's a large man that had his testicles twisted. <laughs> <laughs> that was a real thing. His testicles. He lives with like his grandma or something, and he said he woke up and he thought he had to poop really bad, and, and then he went and he tried, and he couldn't, and he came back to bed, and he was like, it hurts so bad, and he looked down, and his nuts was like the size of a freaking softball. <laughs> And his testicle, I guess, had twisted in the nut sack, and they had to go oh, get it surgery. Like they could actually kill you. Big <laughs> twist. Yeah, yeah. So it's Steve Peters, Shauna Blake, Derek Alders, Eric Zayas, Uncle Bam, Frankie Miracle, Uncle Shane Lahari, D D, Zach Amon. I have no idea who that guy is, and Peter Bedgood, Felix Johnson, and the last but not least is J P. That's right. And uh, you know that makes sense with Felix because yeah, Felix got such a high voice for being such a big dude. I'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah, I'm in his does, bracket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, are you, you are. You are. Yeah. You are in Peter Bedgood, Felix Johnson, and J P. J P. You better run that. And then uh, you better run that yeah. fucking floor, dude. What's so. It'll be a lot of fun. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. Please go and check it out. The show is on August the 18th. It's on a Sunday, uh, and it's also an early start. They start at 5 o'clock. What? 5:30. Yeah. 5.30. Oh, my. 5.30. I apologize. 5.30. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a great show. So if you uh, you know want to go see a good time, go uh, check that out. Uh, but, yes, this week's Laughing at the Sideline shitty situation <laughs> is a good one, folks. <laughs> I love I, I love you, JP. For thinking this about is that. this is a this JP is, this is a JP hatched plan 100% and it's fucking great yeah uh, but JP wants to know would you rather get a bronze medal in the Olympics or get a gold medal in the Paralympics <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right well that's <sighs> all right uh, okay my question is do you, do you but do you I'll, really I'll ha- okay you go ahead Paralympics. What? Nobody remembers third place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going Paralympics. The my, whole. my question is, do you have to then be a Paralympian? I was going to say, what's my disability? Yeah, what's your disability? This is a fun game. That's yeah. This is that the could be on my disability. I think I'm going to go with the old 
uh, Oscar Pistorius. No, he was going to say uh, the same shit. Yeah. Oh, the no, Blade Runner. The Blade, Blade Runner. Runner. Yeah. All right. Uh, so shit. I'm going to be one of those guys. That guy Little is tink, tink. That guy uh, is in jail. Tink, 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 tink. So <laughs> what about? What about winning gold in the Special Olympics? Well, well that's not a part of it. Shit. So I don't know. That was going to be my we, answer. I say we include it. Um, that, you know what? This is where it's going to be. You got you got the gold medal in the Special Olympics, the silver medal in the in the Paralympics, or, or bronze, bronze medal in the, in the We're Olympics. We're just making shit up on the fly now. Fuck yeah. yeah. And it I sounds it sounds great. Well, now I got to go Special Olympics. Does anybody want to know what my fucking, <laughs> what my fucking you, defect is? You're so, downs in it yeah, all day long. Severe, guaranteed. severe autism. Uh, he he has an affinity for wait is for that a special Olympic crooked dick thing? huh you can have autism and be in the special olympics oh yeah big time that's big time very special it, everybody has autism now. to a certain degree but like my my brother-in-law is he will always have to have somebody to take care of him like oh that's subject. like the serious one. serious i'm talking autism. about kids that just wear a hoodie during the summer and say they have autism <laughs> like that's you know what i mean like yeah, it I seems know to mean. be everybody now yeah either that or you stutter no <laughs> what yeah that's Fuck my yeah. only handicap is that i stutter <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but he I runs into the special olympics he runs that? like grease lightning they're like <laughs> you do not look retarded what is and you're like i i
presence whenever your special comes out there, Bubba. I will. Okay. Oh, you're gonna have a special? Yeah, he's pretty special. soon. Actually, I need to talk oh. to you about that too. <laughs> I want to film it at your bar. Alrighty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> flash. We don't usually do that kind of porn on stage there, but that's fine. Let's just hey. redo the Olympics opening. I'm trying to help you help me. <laughs> help me, help me. Okay. We are not gonna have blue guys that you're sitting. All right. That's oh, fine. That's awesome. No, they're gonna be. They're gonna be purple. All right. Nice. That's that's acceptable. I'm still 100 percent dead on telling you you should do your special in drag i think that would be fucking i think it'd be good i think think that would just be great it'd be funny it'd be hilarious anyways guys thank you very much for uh supporting this show we sincerely do appreciate it uh you guys keep on following and sharing our stuff if you guys are not already subscribed to the youtube channel please do so we're not getting paid anyways yeah Uh, but maybe if we get enough subscribers and followers on youtube maybe i can i can i can bitch enough and and they can leave us alone uh but yes thank you so much we sincerely do appreciate and as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us, we hope you fall off a sloped roof. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Eggs. They're incredible. Edible. <laughs> They're eggs. <laughs> until next time, keep, keep laughing, laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. Bye.